You're listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. I'm John Stonge, and today we're in 2 Corinthians chapter 2. And we'll be reading from the Christian Standard Bible. In fact, I made up my mind about this. I would not come to you on another painful visit. For if I cause you pain, then who will cheer me other than the one being hurt by me? I wrote this very thing so that when I came, I wouldn't have pain from those who ought to give me joy, because I am confident about all of you that my joy will also be yours. For I wrote to you with many tears out of an extremely troubled and anguished heart, not to cause you pain, but that you should know the abundant love I have for you. If anyone has caused pain, he has caused pain not so much to me, but to some degree, not to exaggerate, to all of you. This punishment by the majority is sufficient for that person. As a result, you should instead forgive and comfort him. Otherwise, he may be overwhelmed by excessive grief. Therefore, I urge you to reaffirm your love to him. I wrote for this purpose, to test your character, to see if you are obedient in everything. Anyone you forgive, I do too. For what I have forgiven, if I have forgiven anything, it is for your benefit in the presence of Christ, so that we may not be taken advantage of by Satan, for we are not ignorant of his schemes. When I came to Troas to preach the gospel of Christ, even though the Lord opened a door for me, I had no rest in my spirit because I did not find my brother Titus. Instead, I said goodbye to them and left for Macedonia. But thanks be to God, who always leads us in Christ's triumphal procession, and through us spreads the aroma of the knowledge of Him in every place. For to God we are the fragrance of Christ among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. To some we are an aroma of death leading to death, but to others an aroma of life leading to life. Who is adequate for these things? For we do not market the word of God for profit like so many. On the contrary, we speak with sincerity in Christ as from God and before God. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word, and we thank you for the privilege that it is to be able to read it together today. And Lord, we're grateful as we look at this portion of Scripture for the kind of love that you used the Apostle Paul to show the church at Corinth. It's a healthy thing to see that kind of love exhibited by an influential leader. And we know, Lord, that that kind of love can ultimately only be fostered in the heart of a leader or in the heart of a church through faith in your Son, Jesus Christ, who prompts us to love in this kind of way. We're grateful to be loved by you, Father. And we're grateful for opportunities that you've given us to show your love to one another. Lord, you tell us in your word that it's your desire that your children be known for their love. So we pray that in your power and by your grace that you would make this so in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege to be able to read your word together and to meditate on the things that you communicate to us in it. We're grateful as well, Lord, that you are with us today, that you are present in every context of our lives. And we pray, Lord, that we would live in joyful submission to you, knowing that you always have our best interests at heart. We thank you for all of these things, and we pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks again for listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. Each week we post in-depth and applicational Bible studies on our blog at desirejesus.com. This content is always free, and it's our prayer that the Lord would use these resources to strengthen your daily walk with Him. Visit us at DesireJesus.com to take a look. Thanks again for listening, and have a wonderful day.